Well, more and more electric cars are on the road, maybe because there are thousands of dollars in incentives like tax incentives to help reduce the cost. Cashing in on those incentives can be tricky. Tips if you're a car buyer. News 13's Jennifer Emmert has Consumer Reports recommendations on how to cash in on savings if you're leasing. Consumer Reports says leasing an EV might be an easier, better deal right now. Want to buy an EV? How does a $7,500 tax credit sound? There are just a few rules. The vehicle has to be assembled in North America, and its battery components and minerals must meet specific sourcing requirements. And the car has to cost under a certain amount, and your income can't be over another amount. And you'll only get that money back after your taxes. If you're set on buying a car and you know you qualify, you've talked to a tax professional, you know the car is going to qualify, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, it's going to get a little easier next year as dealerships are going to be able to process the, the, the credit and give the credit at the point of sale, which makes it simpler. But it is really, really complex right now. But if you're eager to drive an EV now, CR says a lease may get you on the road faster. The long and short of it is that all those rules go out the window if you lease a vehicle. Uh, no matter where the car was made, how much it costs, you can get that full $7,500 off the total price of the vehicle. And then the leasing company processes that credit up front, which lowers your monthly payments. The usual leasing rules apply. Along with the down payment, you'll make monthly payments for a set number of months and for a set number of miles. And at the end of the lease, you return the car to the leasing company. Those rules can deter some traditional car buyers, but in the case of an EV, they might work to your advantage. Electric vehicle technology is changing really, really rapidly. There are new cars coming in the market. Range is getting longer for battery powered vehicles. So the car that you buy today might end up being outdated in a few years and, and leasing can help you avoid getting stuck with yesterday's technology. And as automakers continue to lower the price of electric vehicles, trying to attract more buyers, you won't take the hit if your leased vehicle is suddenly worth less. And while no one has a crystal ball to see the future, if demand for used EVs is still high at the end of the lease, it may make sense to purchase the car for the buyout value that's written into the lease contract. You can negotiate the cost of a lease. Consumer Reports says it's important to remember that local car dealerships are competing amongst each other for your business, so it never hurts to ask them to waive dealer fees and other markups. Go to WLOS.com and click on Consumer Reports under the News tab for more information.